Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of MEW or Matt's Extreme Wrestling, where today we have for you our, but we have for you guys, our SummerSlam results for SummerSlam 2022. As you guys know, we did do the predictions here on the channel yesterday, and today we are now doing the results for the show. So basically how we're going to do this is we are going to go through every match on the card, and I'm going to tell you who won the match, and some little details of the match, and everything like that. So... Let's get started with the very first match. All right, our first match of the night is Bianca Belair defending the Raw Women's Championship against Becky Lynch, and this was an all right match. I, I did like it. They did execute their signatures and finishers and some big moves. And Bianca Belair does retain the Raw Women's Championship, but it's after the match that is really special. So Bianca's in the ring just celebrating that she retained the championship and whose music hits, Bailey returns at SummerSlam, steps into the ring, but is not alone. No, 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 no. Bailey is joined by Io Shirai's music hit, and Dakota Kai also makes her return as well. So it looks to be a three-on-one. Well, the shocker happens, too. Becky Lynch comes into the ring and stands next to the Raw Women's Champion, the Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair, issuing that Becky Lynch officially turned babyface. Honestly, I thought this was a really good match, and I thought this was a really cool moment to bring back three people who hadn't been seen in a very long time. I know Dakota Kai was released in April, so it's really good to see Dakota Kai back. But yeah, Bianca Belair does defeat Becky Lynch to retain the Raw Women's Championship. Next up we had we next up we had the Miz and Logan Paul battling it out and you guys know how I feel about this match, but this match actually shocked me. This was actually really entertaining. First of all, the Miz, Tommaso Ciampa and Maurice all had this like this like bright lime green and black attires and they looked so clean i hope that we get those in figure form and logan paul just had kind of like a variant of his wrestlemania attire but it was still a really good attire uh this match had its spots uh there was a there was a spot where logan paul literally did a frog splash from the top turnbuckle all the way through Miz, through the announce table, and the match ends. Logan Paul defeats The Miz, and yeah, and I don't know where we go from here. I have a feeling that we will probably see Logan Paul and The Miz battling it out again, but, but, yeah, it was, but yeah, Logan Paul defeats The Miz. Next up is our United States Championship match. The youngest Mr. Money in the Bank of all time, Theory, versus the defending champion, Bobby Lashley. This was also a really good match. Theory attacked Bobby Lashley before the match even started with the briefcase. And yeah, there was, there was some really, really good matches. It was a pretty short match because uh, Lashley did force Theory to tap out to the Hurt Lock, which means that Bobby Lashley retains the United States Championship. Now, will Theory go on to do what he said he was going to do and cash in in the main event? We'll have to see when we get there, but Bobby Lashley does retain the United States Championship. Next up is our no disqualification tag team match, the Mysterios versus the Judgment Day, and this was a very good match. Like, honestly, this was a really good match. This is one of those that I would recommend watching and, yeah, it, 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 it was just that good that I, I, yeah, it was a very good match. But the highlight of it, also before I get to that, the Mysterios had a really, really cool attire. Like, they had like a, uh, it was an orange, kind of like Dominic's here on his uh, last Elite figure. But get rid of the blue and make it all yellow and orange. And that's what their attires looked like. And they were really, really good. Really, really clean. If you guys predicted it correctly, you'll know what I'm about to say. So, we had another return here at SummerSlam. Edge makes his return at SummerSlam and helps the Mysterios 
defeat the Judgment Day. So the Mysterios do in fact defeat the Judgment Day with help of with help from Edge. And oh my god, it, it was awesome to see Edge back. He he just destroyed Finn Balor and Damian Priest. Like th this was a good match. Like, I absolutely loved it, but the Mysterios do pick up the win against the Judgment Day. Next up, we did have Pat McAfee taking on Happy Corbin in, honestly, a pretty good little match. One of the highlights of the match was a massive superplex that Pat McAfee did to Happy Corbin, and it, it was so good. And yeah, Pat McAfee defeats Happy Corbin here at SummerSlam. Next up is the match, the Usos defending the WWE Undisputed Tag Team Championships versus the Street Profits. Another really, really good match. This match was all over the place. You know, high flying moves, everything. These four, the these four competitors are really, really talented and everything like that. Like they are just really, really good. Uh, the Usos pick up the win by hitting super kicks and the 1D for the win. And yeah, the Usos retain. The Undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships at SummerSlam. So, next up is not really a match, but it's more of like a segment that happens. Uh, so, Riddle and Seth Rollins had a brawl. They were they were actually supposed to have a match um, at SummerSlam, but because of Seth Rollins' attack to Riddle, he was so-called not medically cleared to compete. And that match was canceled and everything like that. But that still didn't stop them from brawling at SummerSlam. Yeah, Riddle called out Seth Rollins. They brawled. And yeah, officials finally broke them up. But yeah, th I hope we get to see them two have a match. So really, nobody won. It was just more of like a brawl. But I figured I would... I figured I'd talk about it anyway. But yeah. Next up, we probably have match of the night for me. Or one of the matches of the night. We have Liv Morgan defending the SmackDown Women's Championship against Ronda Rousey, a match that I was really nervous to watch because I had a feeling in the back of my head that, oh, they're just going to, you know, they just wanted to give Liv this happy good story, give her like a 30-day title reign and put it on the, and then they'd put it back on the person that they would rather have represent SmackDown and the division and everything like that. But honestly... They had a really good little match. Like, the match was really, really good, actually. And the ending... So, basically, how the match ended was... Is Ro uh, Ronda Rousey locked in the armbar on Liv. And the ref was threatening to stop the match because Liv just wasn't tapped. And the referee threatened to stop the match. But Liv, she pleaded for him not to stop it. And then Ronda locked it in for a third time. Again... But Liv somehow countered it into, like, a roll-up. She got the pinfall, but the ref did not see Liv tap. We are not done with this rivalry because technically Liv Morgan won, but technically she lost. Because she pinned Ronda while tapping, but the ref counted the pin. I don't think he saw... I don't think he saw Liv tap. But after the match, Ronda Rousey attacked Morgan, locking in the armbar again. And then she just completely took out the ref. So we are not done with this match. But but yeah, Liv Morgan does retain the SmackDown Women's Championship. Next up we have, honestly, match of the night. Probably match of the year, if I do say so myself. We have the undisputed WWE Universal Championship match. Roman Reigns defending against Brock Lesnar for the final time. Last match ever. Last man standing. And oh my god. This match did not disappoint at all. So first of all. Brock Lesnar came out to the ring on a freaking tractor. Cowboy Brock is the best. He came out on a tractor, and then it was there. And then, partway through the match, he literally picked up the ring. Like, he literally picked up one of the corners of the ring. Roman Reigns rolls out of the ring because half the ring is in the air thanks to this giant tractor. 
and then before that, or yeah, before that, Roman Reigns literally gets dropped out of the tractor. And oh my god, th th this match was just so good. I would recommend watching it again. I'm gonna go watch it again after after doing the results because I really want to watch it again. It was such a good match. A uh, Brock Lesnar F5s Paul Heyman through a table. What a match. But the end of the match saw Brock uh, Roman Reigns literally burying Brock Lesnar under a destroyed announce table, destroyed tables, the steel steps. Anything that he could throw on Roman, I'm surprised. Throw on Brock. I'm surprised Roman didn't get in the tractor and flip the ring on Brock. I'm I'm honestly shocked we didn't see that. But finally, Roman Reigns retains the undisputed tag. Oh wow, I'm really tired. Dang, the undisputed WWE Universal Championships. Go watch this match. If you are if you are hesitating to watch SummerSlam, just watch this match. It'll speak for itself. But Roman Reigns retains the undisputed WWE Universal Championship and just oh my God, what a show! But what I want to bring up something before we get into the outro. Nobody lost their championships. This is one of the first pay-per-views in recent memory that I can remember that nobody was pinned or submitted for a championship. Everybody that went into the went into the pay-per-view retained. Honestly, I I don't I don't know how I feel about that. I would have liked to have seen some people maybe lose their championships. But other than that, I guess it's not a big complaint. It's just a minor gripe, but yeah. But all right, guys, that is going to wrap things up for your results for SummerSlam 2022. I hope you guys did enjoy the video today. If you guys did enjoy today, enjoy today's video, a like and a comment is always acceptable. Subscribing to the channel, turn on the notifications so that way you never miss an upload here on the channel. Go follow my Instagram. I try to post there almost every single day, at least once a week, for you guys. Regular reviews will be starting again, so there should be a new review every Wednesday and every Sunday. I'm a little hazy on the Wednesdays, but it'll be every Sunday for sure. Yeah, every Wednesday, every Sunday. I will see you guys in the next review. Have a great day or night, wherever you are in the world, and peace!